Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign, the Basilius of Byzantium. We are... I think we're doing fine. I think this is a, it's an okay situation to be in. We're not fighting the Ottomans, which feels weird. But the Ottomans are fighting our buddy, and so that makes me sad too. Um, poor Skanderbeg. I know he's not Skanderbeg anymore, but it still, you know, it just makes me... Makes me sad, thinking about him. All right, we're trying to land and apply some pressure to uh, Lucka. I think we will siege Lucka out. Lucka should have some cash. Um, his cash reserves are at a lot. 240 ducats, yes, please. Come on, Treviso, please fall. The sooner that falls, the sooner I can maybe get control of this thing again. I will have to swing a, a large army over here to deal with the Crimean Separatists. Unless, of course, maybe Lithuania takes care of it. There's a 20 stack of Separatists in Krizlyar. I mean, it is, it is a Lithuanian problem, so maybe he'll, maybe he'll swing down there and take care of it. I don't know. I've decided still against, uh, taking Corsica. While it would be nice to have that subject, um, somebody to start collecting trade in this Genoese node. Um. I don't know. I, I mean, may, maybe. I, I still haven't decided, really. Like, I could take Montrega, which is, uh, would be nice, because we would have more steppe territory. Um, it's also part of a, an existing state. I do want Chios, because this, like, this plus ten local trade power really annoys the crap out of me. So, I guess, if I think about this a little bit more... If I didn't take this, and instead took this... He's still pissed. Then we could release a good subject that we could use as a, as a staging ground. This whole area. The problem is that Corsica has like no real cores. They, they, they don't have any cores that we can use as return to core. I would much prefer to have like Catalonia or something. But any subject is better than no subject over here. Especially if we're going influence ideas. I, I, I don't know. I just I still don't know yet what I prefer. And of course we suffer a disease outbreak. This is kind of concerning. Looks like we are a bit preemptive in moving on to Lucca. We'll just dock up. You moving into Genoa or Parma? Yeah, let's just stick stick nearby, but not actually engage in that until we're done with Genoa. Albania cedes Vlor to, Alba to the Ottomans. They pay war reps and any ducats. So yes, they got much weaker. They are... Almost willing to accept vassalization now. Yay! That's great news! Good job, Ottomans. You are a dummy. You give me my western subject. Hey, come on. 35% chance. Let's do this. Let's take it. Treviso's blockaded. There it is. There it is. We can get our leader over there now. Still plenty of loot to be had on all these provinces. I really don't want to be at war with Venice for much longer, so... Currently have negative four reasons. He probably still thinks he's super strong. Venezia is fully blockaded. We might as well just siege it out since I've already applied pressure to it for so long. We've been here for almost a year. Nope, no access to anyone right now. Albania sieging somebody. Wait, Albania, are you actually in a war? Back against Theodoro, yeah. You actually are trying to help out. That's that's kind of funny. Well, all right, all right. Let's do that. I want my siege leader to be there. <laughs> the empire runs on paper. Sure does. Thanks, game. Once per uh, once per episode, right? Once per episode, we get those events. Until we don't. The Rebel Uprising is continuing to make progress. Let's keep an eye on that siege, though. I almost wish you could just click a button and have them fire. Intentionally. Now I feel like you're trying to apply pressure here. Ah, Genoa, Genoa, Genoa! I mean, I could just take just Corsica. But what do I really get out of that? No trade power. I'm not going to transfer trade power. The subject is going to be super weak. Um, it gets me a core, yes. Um, 
It's in the Empire, which is bad, because the, the subject will still t technically be considered a prince, so I can't possibly count on Austria to be happy with me. Just seems like a bad idea all around. Versus taking Chios, getting rid of that trade power that he has, and then he doesn't want to do this, but maybe we just ignore that for now. It's not a big deal. Besides, I am doing a diplomatic idea group. Yeah, I think we just do this. I think we just take his cash, take the war reps, knock him out. I mean, his enthusiasm is, I think, at like the lowest it could possibly be, right? Negative 13. He still feels like he's got a decently strong army, or... I've seen it better. Yeah. All right, let's just take Chios. It'll also make it easier for me to focus my efforts on this. Also allows me to pull the vast majority of my navy away. Get back to protecting trade and stuff and getting started on the Siege of Cyprus. We've got, we've got a lot of other things that are going to require aggressive expansion and diplo points and stuff, so I don't really want to overcommit to the, the Genoese thing. Now, distance between borders is applying, though, because we don't technically border him. He's created a trade port in Montrega. Yeah, of course he did. I mean, why wouldn't he? At least it's upstream from our capital node. So I can't, I can't split this navy, because of reasons. But I can do something stupid like right-click to make these ships go away. Then deselect everything except for the transports, right? Then group those, then apply the... I can move the leader freely, because why not? And now I've, I've effectively split the army. Yeah, that makes sense. Now we have nothing but transports out here. Is that safe? Uh, let's see, there are some ships owned by Navarra and Galray. Right, let's leave the, leave the galleys here then. Switzerland seeds land in Milan. Ottomans want military access. Ha 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 ha. Very funny. No. Answer's no. No. Without this occupation, I don't think I'm going to get any kind of peace deal that I want. Venezia is actually not blockaded to full. Interesting. Looks like... Is this right? Aragon's actually landing troops here? Holy smokes, he is. He's going to knock him out. Kind of impressive. Well, let's reestablish a full blockade on Venezia then. Get these troops to land. Teutonic Order sees Mel, Konigsberg, Warmia to Poland. Looks like Poland's having a good game, even though he... Didn't take the 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 union over what's his face? Lithuania. You know what I'm talking about, that one guy. Venice still has this army over here, just kind of being a pest. Looks like Lithuania's kind of maybe sorta of thinking about dealing with those rebels. Kind of maybe sorta. Of. My rebels are still at 80%. And I think there's a good chance they might not actually fire if I Wow. Wow, Venice has a lot of war exhaustion already. Wait, what? 2.4. Oh, he transferred it to the Knights. It's the Knights war exhaustion that's causing that. Alright, sweet. That's awesome. We did finish the Siege of Venezia. Which means that we can do a peace deal, like, now. Instead of having to wait for freaking ever. We also get to potentially kill some more of the Venetian navy. He has no no galleys. I don't have a leader here, but we have a much much better navy, I think, overall. No captured ships, but we killed six. 
pretty good overall. Okay, so with Venice, I don't want his land. I, I can't afford the aggressive expansion. It's it's not where I want to be anyway. I just want him out of the war. So I'm thinking, take all your cash. We take war reps. We could take a humiliate to top off power projection, which would be kind of handy. But is that really the best way to spend this war score right now? Versus picking up like prestige, for example. Get rid of his alliance to Genoa. And his alliance to the Knights doesn't really concern me too much. Bosnia. Make him abandon his cores on my land is decent. So we walk away with 12 prestige. We get some cash. We get war reps. Yes, war reps is in there. And uh, he abandons his cores, which is just kind of convenient to have. And... Uh, that's fine. He also is no longer allowed to be my rival, right? Did I do that? Yes, which means that that's fine, because I don't really want to fight this guy. I don't really care that much about his land yet. And by him not being a valid rival, um, not having me rivaled, I should lose the valid rivalry, and that will allow me to then rival the Ottomans before our first war with him. Our next war with him. So let's do that. Peace deal. That's our separate piece. Um, that still leaves me at war with the Knights. I didn't mess up, did I? I hope I didn't. I don't have to worry about Albania defending here, do we? No, he's still at war with Theodoro. And we also got a nice little chunk of change from that peace deal. So, next is uh, getting this peace deal. Like, I'm kind of overcommitted to this siege right now. I don't need this many men here. On the other hand, that is a annoyingly large army, so I guess we'll just suffer the attrition and deal with it. However, if we're going to do that, we might as well pull in a siege leader. We don't have one right now. I am still considering attacking you, Serbia. Make, make, have no doubt, that will be something that happens. Uh, how much blockade speed do we actually need? 15? These guys are not quite enough on their own, but there are some other ships arriving. Albania, I need you to become my minion. Negative 17? BS! You should trust me more, man. We're friends. I'm pretty sure we're friends. Where's that navy? On its way. Let's grab the siege leader, bring him in. I am somehow not black flagged, which means, yeah, that's fun. I love when that happens. Um... We have, okay, we have military access here. Ottomans gives access to Byzantine war ally Georgia. That's not what I care about. It's this one. Lucka. We need to peace out Lucka to get black flagged. So I could just take the peace deal right now. I don't actually have to siege him out. Um, I could just take all of his money. We don't get war reps that way, but I highly doubt Lucka makes a huge amount directly. That's fine. I'll do that. 
I actually only get 121 of the ducats, though, because in this war, uh, Georgia has 42% participation, so that's kind of unfortunate. I guess I do want the, the war reps, then. You will null your trees with Georgia? Nah, I don't care about that. I care about war reps. Sounds good. Goodbye to you. Let's bug out. Now we're black flagged. We can come home. We have cash. We have uh, the ability to build buildings, which we want to build, definitely. Macedonia is downstream, so I don't really care about that too much. Can't build that because it's occupied. I think we'll hold on to the cash until after this war is over. Now, all that's left, then, is to do what? Cyprus, Galray, Navarra. Like, I already checked. Navarra has, like, no cash. Like, at all. 13 whole ducats. Galray is really far away. He does have some money, and he is on the coast. So I could, I could ask for, like, military, like, fleet basing rights from somebody, and then just go up there and do some work. Like, maybe... Who doesn't hate me? It will give me fleet basing rights. Okay, we're looking for opinion map mode. Provence likes me. Provence, you have fleet, right? Yeah, let's improve relations with Provence a little bit. Maybe, you can, maybe we can actually milk some cash out of Galry. Since we're going to maybe do that, I guess I will build a church in Crete, of all places. Yeah, in Macedonia. That's about it. Meanwhile, the Great Horde have a lot of rebels as well. Aragon is invading the knights, which means that I'm expecting the Ottomans will probably full annex the knights. They won't vassalize him. No, he's the wrong religion, and he just won't do that. But if they full annex, then my war will just end inconclusively, which would be fine. Yeah, it would be fine for the most part, unless I wanted to do a separate war with Serbia real quick. I don't know that this is a, a thing I can actually do this mission. Make Serbia happy. Is he multiple that fort again? He did. Interesting. Oh, hey, we've died. That's fun. God is with Romanos, our 536. We have pretenders rise up in Constantinople. We have a 233 heir. It's Isaac. Isaac. Yeah, something or other. Wait, do we actually have two separate sets of pretenders? This is not cool. Why are there so many freaking pretenders? Just because of the weak claim? That's kind of BS. Well, that's not fun or cool. Stupid weak claim. <laughs> Let's just delay as long as possible until that rebellion is uh, not an actual issue. I mean, separatists did fire. Damn it! We're having some issues. This is gonna this is gonna take a little bit of effort to deal with, evidently. I'm gonna mothball the the galleys since I am over the force limit. Actually, uh, at the moment, I think I'm going to just mothball all of them, because I don't care about the naval strength at all. So, my army is 19 troops, and there are, like, 19 and how many? 16. Yeah, that seems fair. That seems fair. Just a few. Just a couple rebels, huh? Well, geez. Um, I guess I'm going to take a break here, and we'll see if we can solve this problem next episode. <laughs> As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon. See you in a bit.